Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will show you how to work with IFC files in FreeCAD 1.0 which brought huge changes to its users in this regard. IFC schema is an open schema. IFC files are used in architecture, engineering and construction field. In practice, it is mainly used for data exchange between two different software solutions and also as a deliverable and for preservation of information. You can think of IFC format as a PDF for AEC data and 3D model. But IFC schema also enables direct modeling, meaning that the IFC file can be created and accessed directly by the authoring software. FreeCAD 1.0 comes with a revolutionary option of working natively with IFC files thanks to the integration of IFC Open Shell Library. This means great enhancement of how FreeCAD users can work and interact with IFC files. These IFC files can be authored by FreeCAD itself or other BIM applications. The new IFC options enable users to work in three so-called IFC modes. The first one is native FreeCAD mode. This is the standard mode that users were able to use up until now too. In this mode, user creates BIM objects natively in FreeCAD as FreeCAD entities and save uh, in the native IFC STD file format. When user needs to create an IFC file, he or she can export from FreeCAD to IFC file format and all the objects will be translated to the IFC file. The second mode is strict IFC mode. When a user switches to this mode, all BIM objects inside FreeCAD are translated to IFC entities. Ideally, this should mean no change in what is modeled. User can now create and edit new BIM objects, such as walls or windows, which are directly created as IFC entities. Only IFC entities are able to exist in the strict IFC mode, meaning no FreeCAD-specific objects. When user saves a file, it is saved in the IFC file format directly. The third mode is hybrid mode, where IFC and FreeCAD entities can be created and edited side by side. Such a model is then saved into two files, one native FreeCAD FCSTD file and another IFC file. The FCSTD file links to the IFC file but both of these files can exist on their own. Now let's take a look at practical examples. FreeCAD native mode. So I'm in FreeCAD 1.0 and I've got this sample garage project, which is completely created in FreeCAD with wall objects, slab objects, etc. And so this is how I work in FreeCAD normally. If I wanted to create the IFC model out of this, I would box select all of the objects and also the site, go to File, go to Export and select IFC as an export format, choose the name, hit Save and the export will run. And once the IFC file is exported, I can open it in my IFC viewer of uh, my choice. So for me, it's uh, BIMVision. And you can see that uh, the objects, objects are there and the structure of the, of the project is there. So I will close this one and go back to FreeCAD. So this is the workflow that you are probably previously used to. Strict IFC mode. You can start the strict IFC mode with an empty file, but I will use my existing project and to switch to strict IFC mode, I will 
use this button down here and if I click it the translation of this project to IFC objects will happen. It might take a little while if your project is larger than mine but this one was not that big and now you can see that the top of the uh, top of the project tree is IFC project and all of these objects has, have been transformed to IFC object but uh, uh, nothing has changed in FreeCAD and now I can, here I can see that I'm in a strict mode because this button is uh, highlighted and now if I'm creating new objects or editing the existing one they are directly IFC objects. So if I wanted to save this file I would go to file, save IFC file because I'm in a strict mode I've got option to save IFC file directly. If I click here I would name it uh, IFC file test hit save now if I'll take a look at my disk this is the file that I just saved directly from FreeCAD and when it opens up you can see that it's the same IFC file with uh, all of the all of the structure of the IFC file inside of it uh, inside of it if I if I hide this one you can see that even the inside walls and other objects are there. So this is uh, a strict IFC mode. Now if I create a new object I'm in a strict IFC mode so if I create a wall it will be created directly as an IFC object and placed into the into the project. So now if I would go again and uh, save the file and back here I would open it in an IFC viewer you will see that the wall is placed there. So basically I'm working uh, directly on the on the IFC file if I delete the object and then save the mm, the wall will be deleted from the IFC file now with the current implementation in FreeCAD 1.0 uh, some of the objects as you have seen the wall the window etc are supported but some of the objects are not supported so for instance if I would draw a line uh, I would get an error and the line would not be created because it's not supported yet in FreeCAD 1.0. So in the future versions uh, more objects will, will, be, will, be, will be supported. So this is the strict IFC mode. Hybrid IFC mode. As described previously in hybrid IFC mode IFC objects can exist next to uh, next to FreeCAD native objects. So uh, I can create hybrid mode from strict IFC mode. You can see here that I've got my IFC project and if I click on this button strict IFC mode I unrestrict the project so now you can see that I'm not uh, limited to IFC objects and the top of the, the, the top of the project tree is standard uh, FreeCAD uh, file and in this file there's a link to the IFC file test that I saved it as and inside these are IFC objects but now if I create a wall here you can see that it's created outside of the IFC file as a FreeCAD object. So I will also let's say create a window it's placed inside of the wall these are this wall is FreeCAD object this wall is IFC object. So now 
This part, the IFC part, is already saved inside of the IFC file that we saved previously, the IFC file test. So you can see it's this one. And back in FreeCAD, if I go to File and would want to save, now I'm saving the FreeCAD native files, the FCSTD. So I will go to Save As and save as root uh, freecad file i will save it and when i'm in a hybrid mode it's asking me once i'm saving the root file is it's asking me whether i want to also save the ifc file so i will click uh, ok and uh, now uh, if I, uh, let's say I can also, what I can do is uh, if I delete this part of the IFC file, the roof, and um, it's warning me that some objects might break, I will say yes. Now if I, if I save this, uh, it will ask me again whether I also want to save the IFC file and I will close this one and look at the look at the IFC file you could see that the roof will not be there because I deleted it you can see that the roof is not there because I deleted it in the in the hybrid mode the IFC object and you can also see that the wall that I created uh, here on this side is not in this IFC file because it's only part of the it's only part of the uh, it's only saved in the freeCAD freeCAD part of the file. Now what is not solved as of freeCAD 1.0 is that if changes happen to the IFC file in this hybrid mode outside of freeCAD, the changes will not appear in uh, FreeCAD, so this is this will be fixed in the future. But currently, if I close this uh, hybrid project now, and I open my uh, FC editor bonsai beam, and I open the the IFC project, and I will edit it. So let's say I will add uh, I will add. A wall here on this side it's okay and I will save the file so some changes and I will close the file so it doesn't so it doesn't make problems in FreeCAD and I will open the hybrid project here in uh, FreeCAD you will see that FreeCAD does not see the new wall or if I deleted something in the file it will be still present here in FreeCAD so this will be solved in the future releases of FreeCAD as of FreeCAD 1.0 it's important to know this when you're working in the hybrid mode. Now what's also interesting to know is that even though this IFC file is linked FreeCAD saves uh, the information about the IFC object uh, inside of uh, FreeCAD. So even if you uh, lose this uh, file, you will still see this IFC object in FreeCAD. So let me again close the file and switch to my file browser and I will get rid of this uh, IFC file by changing the uh, changing the uh, changing the file type so for FreeCAD this file now does not exist and if I open the root uh, FreeCAD project you will still see that uh, even though I am not able to reach this file the objects are still visible uh, and uh, I could work with them uh, work with them in FreeCAD. Uh, so 
also this will be changed a little bit in future versions of FreeCAD but uh, you will have this possibility that when you don't have the IFC you will see those IFC object inside of FreeCAD. So this is it about the IFC modes in FreeCAD. You have FreeCAD native mode, you have strict mode or locked mode and then you have hybrid mode or unlocked IFC mode. If you like using FreeCAD, consider donating to the project to keep it alive. The link to the donate page will be in the description box below. I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next one.